Ladies and gentlemen, the anticipation ends now. Enter NIO Day unveiling of the groundbreaking 150 kilowatt hours battery pack, poised to transform the industry with unparalleled range and innovative swappable features. Yes, the moment has finally arrived. At last, a revolutionary, game-changing, innovative, industry-leading news, the 150 kilowatt hour semi-solid state battery pack has finally made its way there. And this will be announced on NIO Day. Here's everything you need to know about this game-changing invention that is set to revolutionize everything. They tested this 150 kilowatt hour battery pack on the ET7 through internal testing, and they underwent a very long distance trial. And if you go there and see, they have achieved a range of 1044 2 kilometers on the ET7, with an average energy consumption of 12.7 kilowatts per hour for 100 kilometers. Now, if you do a bit of math and extract a lot of details, it means that with a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack, you actually get a range of up to 1181 kilometers on the ET7. This is truly game changing, my friends. Game changing. And of course, the entire launch is set to happen on NIO Day, which is coming very soon. And apparently, according to some information, there will be 2750 units of this battery in the first batch. And there are some interesting facts about this battery. It weighs only 20 kilograms, yet it provides more than 100 kilowatt hours of power. The energy density of solid state cells is 260 watt hours per kilogram. Now keep in mind that some cells are solid state while others are not. However, the average energy density for the entire battery pack is 260.8 watt hours per kilogram. This is truly astonishing. When it comes to competition, like Zeker, if you want a range of up to 1,000 kilometers, you usually have to make sacrifices in terms of performance. You often have to choose the long-range version, which may not provide strong acceleration for an extended period because it only has a single motor, perhaps around 5.6 seconds or 6.6 seconds. But here with the NIO ET7, all NIO models have dual motors, reaching 0 to 100 in just 2.6 seconds. You can achieve a range of up to 1,000 kilometers. And the game-changing aspect, it only takes 3 minutes to replace a fully charged 150 kilowatt hour battery pack. No matter how fast you charge, you won't be able to achieve 150 kilowatt hours in 3 minutes. It's impossible unless you set the entire thing on fire. So here's something truly astonishing. A step ahead with NIO. You can now rent a higher capacity battery just for a day. It will cost you around $8, and you can gain 40% more range. So, from a 70 kilowatt hour pack, take it up to 100. With this, you can almost double your range, maybe even for just a day if possible. But I understand initially it might be available for a month or perhaps a year. But a monthly option seems the most likely. Another interesting fact, there are 2,750 batteries like this. That means for each swap station, as they have around 2,200 swap stations, each station gets only one battery. This implies not everyone will use this battery pack. And it's quite expensive. Yes. And that's why, as we've heard from NIO manager, etc., they don't intend to sell it because it's impossible for people to buy and they won't even pay attention to buying it. They don't allow people to have the capability to buy a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack because you can rent it. So practically, you can only get it on rent, and if you need it, take it. If not, don't. This is another major selling point for NIO, and it shows that NIO is once again, you know, ahead. It's an industry leader, an innovator, a front runner. Everyone else is just busy selling cars and copying others, busy talking nonsense and they are not actually leaders in technology. People who know a bit about cars look down on these other brands. They think they have no technology, only a facade. But in the real guts of the car, look at these people. All right, no one with a sound mind will buy these cars. This is something that most people think about. However, for NIO, they have their core technology you know, battery tech, swapping tech, and all these things are developed in-house. Even all the R&D money is going into these areas. 
and investors are aware of NIO profit potential. But if you focus on it, if you take out the R and D, NIO is only making a profit from its operations. So R and D is going there, of course, in infrastructure and still developing technology there for better margins. They are developing their own chips, brakes, suspension, chassis to mean everything. And this also helps them compete with others. Because if you buy something that everyone can use, why make your car special? So you should think this way. You have an X chip. Someone else can put an X chip in their car. But if you have your own chip, like Tesla does, then no one else can have the same chip. So this is something to think about. And this is the first time that this battery will change everything. And because you can rent it, it's absolutely amazing. And remember, I always say this, if you buy NIO every time new battery tech comes out, you can enjoy it. Whereas if you own a Tesla and Elon Musk announces new battery tech, it has no connection with you. You have to buy a new Tesla to enjoy that battery tech. Not for NIO, every NIO owner has the capability to enjoy new battery tech. Because it's swappable, it's completely upgradable. Don't worry about a faulty battery. You don't need to spend a lot of money buying new batteries because your old one has gone bad. So these are things you really need to understand. Alongside this, NIO has been successful in creating records. NIO new vehicles are the ones that can go the farthest in real range. And remember, this is calculated based on actual energy consumption. So, the real range is 1181 cam, whereas some other competitors might claim a 1000 cam and EDC range, but in reality, if you test it, it might only achieve 600 or 700 kilometers. And this is a very optimistic assumption. And it's true because often the real range is only 60% of the labeled range, whereas in NIO, you know, they have actually achieved this range. This is the real distance based on energy consumption. So this is quite remarkable, quite unusual. So NIO cars are the ones with the longest range, and that too very quickly, which you don't see anywhere else. Now we know why they didn't talk about it in quarterly earnings or launch events, because it's finally coming on NIO day in a few days. This is great. Experience the climax of anticipation at NIO day as they unveil the game-changing 150 kilowatt hours battery pack pushing boundaries with a 1044 2 km range on the ET7. It redefines possibilities, offering up to 1181 km with a 50 kWh pack. This innovation marks a turning point, ensuring NIO leadership in technology, setting a new standard in electric vehicles. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing and see you in the next video.